point I'm telling y'all, Tank will get stopped by the fourth round. Who the fuck you think you talking to? It will be too easy for us. Too easy. So yeah, that was Kid Austin's father saying that apparently his son will beat Tank in four rounds. You know, and I'm not mad at that, you know? I mean, they've already been competing outside the ring anyway, you know? Uh, Javante worked with Floyd. Kid Austin's name is Floyd. Yeah. You know, uh, Javante's a champion at 135. Kid Austin is a contender at 135. Yeah. And they have another similarity as well. Huh? They both like to get scooped up. What? I don't know about y'all, but now I'm interested to see whose legs can get off the ground the highest. No, did it. And the winner is... Boy Schofield. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man. Look, so uh, I just showed y'all clips of the video when Floyd Kid Austin Schofield and his father were being interviewed, you know, and they were talking about how dominant they foresee themselves being in the 135 pound division of course they talked about javante tank davis you know how they get him out of there in four rounds but they also talked about williams and pay saying that he's essentially scared to fight him which i believe because they're both on golden boy and that'll be the easiest fight to facilitate but they say he don't want that pressure either you know apparently saying that williams and Peta stating that floyd kid Austin schofield is not ready I mean, hey, I don't know about that one. But he also said, hey, he didn't stop there. He said, Devin Haney don't want no pressure. He said <laughs> he almost had him running up out the ring during sparring. And he also said Shakur, him telling him to go fight Abdullah Mason, he has no problem doing because he'll whoop Abdullah Mason just as bad as he'll whoop Shakur. He said he could walk him down. Now, I know on the surface and your immediate reaction, a lot of people will be like, whoa, man, whoa, this guy needs to slow down, man. He's out of line. He's disrespectful. What are we talking about here, man? I mean, what, what, what's the uproar? What's the hoopla? Why are you irate? What's up with all this emotion? He's a fighter, man. He's a fighter. This is what he's supposed to say. This is how he's supposed to feel. I want to take the belt from the top guy, and then I want to defend it. That's how boxing should be. He's a fighter, once again. He's supposed to feel like he'll dominate everybody. You know, all of his, you know, counterparts that are, uh, that are fighters, too. He's supposed to feel like he's supposed to beat them. He's going to dominate them and destroy them. Not only will that get us intrigued as fans, but it'll also give us confidence at the very least that he's confident in himself. That's how he's supposed to feel. Now, I'm not saying he's right. <laughs> he's going to have to prove himself correct. You know, do I think that he beats Shakur? No, sir. Do I think that he beats Devin Haney? Maybe. Do I think that he beats Zepeda? Maybe. Do I think he beats Tank? Absolutely not. But that's not up for me. That's not up to me and not up for me to determine. That's on him to, 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 to convince us, you know? But I have no problem with him feeling like he will beat the, the, these other guys, these champions. Now, of course, I think that he should kind of pace himself a little bit, but he is ranked number two. He is ranked number two right behind William Zapata, who's a mandatory in all four sanctioned bodies at 135. So Floyd Kid Austin is supposed to feel like this. I have no problem with the young man being confident in himself and saying, hey, man, I'll stop all these guys. I'll beat all these guys uh, definitively and, and demonstratively. And, you know, he'll just put a whooping on them. I have no problem with this. Now, do I have to agree? Nah, now we got, you know, we can open up some dialogue and be like, hey, you know, he might be wilding a little bit. Four rounds is crazy, you know, because you, you, you struggled with Swero a bit. But if you really look at that fight outside of the dirty tactics used by Swero, you know, with the, with the slamming and the low blows, which is, which is why he got disqualified. Um, Floyd Kid also was kind of handling it pretty well, to be honest, man. And I always, I always said, too, man, I like this guy as a prospect. I think he's going to be very nice. But do I think right now at this very moment, is he ready for Shakur or, or, or Tank? I'm just going to focus on those two because they're in his division, 135. And uh, Zapata's fighting other people. So let's just say the champions, right? Uh, I don't think he's really ready for them yet. But like I said, I have no problem with the confidence. You know, it's like me. Right now, I'm doing a boxing channel. You know, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm passionate about. Please believe, if I didn't believe that I was the best, I wouldn't be doing it. If I didn't believe that I was capable of being the best, I wouldn't be doing it. Now, am I the best channel? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Because the numbers don't show that. I don't have the experience there yet to be in place. However, that's where I'm aiming to be at. You see what I'm saying? That's where I want to go straight to the top. So for those of you that are bad at this young man, it's because you have to look at the mirror and question yourself. 
Why are you so insecure? You're supposed to be confident in yourself. If you care, you're passionate about something, you're supposed to give it your all and you're supposed to believe in yourself because you believe in the work that you're putting in behind the scenes when no one's watching, you know what I'm saying? So I have no problem with him. He's a fighter. He's supposed to uh, act like one. And he's supposed to demonstrate that fighting spirit. You know what's crazy? If he was saying the opposite, oh no, I'm not ready for Tank. Oh no, Shakur will whoop me. Oh, Devin Haney will put them paws on me. I don't want to fight Zepeda. You know what y'all would be saying? We would be calling them all types of ducks, all type of scary, all type of uh, 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 cowards and punks. But now that he's embracing the challenges, we also say that, oh, he, 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 he he's stepping beyond uh, 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 his position. He should know his place. He should be humble. He's arrogant. Shut up, bitch. It's like, bro, like, you know, say, can anybody win? <laughs> Everything's a catch-22. You, you go this way, you lose. You go that way, you lose, man. Shout out to Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. Do I believe him? Hell no. But I like this fighting spirit. I like this confidence. This is what you're supposed to have. And to me, he's doing what he's supposed to do, man. Shout out to Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. And I'd love to see his next fight. You know what I'm saying? And and then that's it. I don't think this is really anything to, to, to be bad about or even spend too much time on but i do think it's important to address because like i said i i like the i like the confidence you know do i think that he should talk for himself a little more probably so but that's him and his father they have a great uh, um a relationship evidently so shout out to those two as well you know what I'm, saying? I'm sure that if he felt uncomfortable that he would speak up and i'm sure that if the dad you know was feeling uncomfortable too then or, you know <laughs> I don't know about that part. He seemed like he a little, he seemed like he liked the attention. So I was going to say that I'm sure that he would probably remove himself if he felt like he was distracted his son too much, but I don't know about that. You know, but that's none of my business. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I think it's entertaining and that's all I take it for, man. A champion wants to beat another champion or a contender has visions of him being a champion and going through other champions and embracing the challenge. We should love this and encourage this, man. So shout out to uh, Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. And yeah, man, I, 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 I'm excited to see his next fight, you know what I'm saying? Which is coming up soon. So I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Do you think that he's out of line? Do you think that he's right in line? Or do you think he was, uh, uh, <laughs> he shouldn't be doing this. He should be careful what he asked for. You know, I, you know, I don't know, man. I disagree with him. I disagree with him. I don't think he beats those those champions right now at this moment. And plus, not, not, not only that, I don't put too much stock and energy into sparring stories anyway because sparring is practice. You know, things could change in the, under the lights. But I am interested to see what y'all want to talk about in the comments and see how y'all feel about it, man. But remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. And don't forget to like the video, man. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.